How's it going? Uh, this is Stu Levy with my channel Super 40 um, and I'm just giving a quick Ironman training weekly report. Um, just a vlog that I've been doing as you know if you're watching. Um, no, I'm not showing really myself doing the actual exercises or anything. This is just a simple little vlog um, with updates. So I can check it out later or anybody else if they're interested can see my uh, my struggles through this 20 week tra training period. Um, so I'm out in Tokyo right now. Um, I've got one more week, a little bit more than one more week left here in Tokyo. And um, I'm not, you know, I'm not, to be honest, I'm not really enjoying the training environment here in Tokyo. Uh, it's a little bit, it's a little bit harder than in LA, especially for the bike. Um, I did a long ride yesterday. I kind of changed my schedule around a little bit so I can go to a friend's um, get-together. Um, but even then, um, you know, the long ride is tough because getting out of Tokyo to a place where you can ride without a lot of lights takes an extremely long time. And what some people supposedly do um, is they... They put their bike in a bag and they get on the train. You're not really allowed to ride. Um, it's not like in a lot of countries like in Korea or in Germany. You can just bring your bike on the train, which is awesome. But here in Japan, if you want to bring your bike on the train, you literally have to put it in a bike bag. And um, it, it just sucks because, you know, you have to take off the wheel. You have to put it in the bike bag. You have to then, you know, roll up the bike bag and somehow carry it with you on your bike. Um, it's just a, it's just an added level of frustration um, and significant amount of time to get out of town where you can ride like that. You're talking a good hour each way by train, um, and I haven't, so I didn't do that yesterday. Um, my my buddy Ken and me, we actually rode from Tokyo. But you know, when you do that, then you're dealing with all these lights, you're dealing with traffic, you're dealing with um, the inability to just crank. And just and just go through hard training, and so, you know, and 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 Cannon is in a different. He's not training for Ironman. He's he's working a lot, and he's got a um, an Olympic try coming up. But he's not doing the putting in the the hours that I'm putting in on the training. So we have a little bit of a different uh, goal in terms of training. So you know that's cool. Um, you know I thought it would be it, it's fun hanging out and and doing a ride together. But you know we do take a little bit longer breaks than I typically would like to do. Um, and so that means that at the end of the day yesterday, he, you know, he did end up having to leave a little early. So I, I did an additional amount of the ride, um, on my own and then rode home on my own. But, you know, I put in the 80 mile ride that it was supposed to be, but it took seven hours and 20 minutes. And we're talking about, you know, it's supposed to take me five hours to do 80 miles at the most, um, uh, not seven plus. So you know, I came home. I mean, there was a little bit, a little bit of um, climbs. Um, after Ken had left, I went up um, on on a road that was actually quite nice uh, um, in the mountains towards a lake, um, and got some really good climbs out of that. But you know, one, I'm on my, I'm on this hybrid bike that I have out here, um, not my TT bike, so I can't really um, train the way that I'll be racing. Um, but you know, it's it's hard work, and that's okay. It gives me a good workout. Uh, but the coming back into town was miserable. It was just rush hour, cars everywhere. I picked the wrong road, and I couldn't really squeeze by the cars, so I actually had to be on the sidewalk a bunch. It was just kind of a nightmare. And so all of this combined means seven and twenty seven hours plus. Um, not a lot of energy when I came home. I was feeling great, um, but that's because it took so long. And you know, if I did that during the race, it would I wouldn't hit my time my time goals. So, um, but then today. I did um, my my swim and my long bike or my long run, but it, it was really tough. I, I I bonked out on the run. I literally um, I did the swim and the swim was already pretty tough. It's a 3,100 meters total, and I've been swimming in this 50 meter indoor pool here in Tokyo. Um, and I was trying different things with my my form, you know, trying to reach a little bit further, trying to move you know, kind of use my core more and, and I was getting pretty tired. So it was a, but I did okay on the swim, but it was a, you know, tough swim. I worked my ass off and then coming off of that, I didn't take the time to uh, fuel up right. 
I had one little bar, tiny little bar that they, they sell here called Soy Joy, a few sips of water, and then I started my run, and I ran pretty hard, um, and, and I waited way too long to even get like a legitimate drink and put some, some um, electrolytes in me. So this was a huge mistake. After It's a 15-mile run I was supposed to do. After eight miles, really about seven to eight, I hit a major wall, and the whole world started spinning, and I almost literally collapsed on the ground from just being dizzy. And so I stopped. I drank a little bit more of this drink that I had, and then I ran kind of tough, ran another mile or two and then took a break, went into a convenience store, got another one of these little bars, ate a bar, and then somehow made it through the rest of my run, the 15 miles. But it was a tough, tough, tough run, um, bonked out big time. And then uh, once I was home, um, stretched out, finally went to lunch really late, um, had some Japanese tonkatsu, um, which is quite tasty. Um, and some cabbage that they give you and miso soup and stuff and rice, but it was just too late And so I'm, I'm beat. I'm beat right now I went and I actually got a little massage and the massage. It wasn't so great It was okay, but it wasn't a sports massage like I know I could get in LA if I wanted one So I'm really missing the LA training environment um, I've got like I said a little bit more than another week here and I'll do the best I can But I, I got to get back into this into LA and train out there uh, it'll be much better for me, although the this is now seven weeks done, 13 left, and this plan is getting tougher and tougher. And the next, well, basically the next 10 weeks are, are crazy hard. Um, but I'll do my best and hopefully uh, hang in there and we'll see if I can pull off this Ironman. I'm not the most confident right now, um, but... You know, I'm sure my body's getting stronger if I don't collapse and die. So <laughs> I'll hang in there and do the best I can. Um, and that's it. Report from Tokyo, Week 7 Ironman Training. Stu Levy um, for, with Super 40. Thanks.